There is no particular pattern to follow when it comes to God's will for you concerning marriage. There are different ways to tell that both of you have been chosen by God's divine working to be together. Peace within, more like a still small voice. We will always judge God's thoughts on a matter by the peace that we feel on our inside. When you have met a person and you feel at peace with them, know that it's okay to be together. There would be a certain kind of calmness on your inside. It is important that the two of you feel this peace together. The peace of the Lord in many situations is a show that you can go on and continue in the path that you have chosen. Finding peace with a person is very important and something to look out for. When the thoughts of the two of you being together in marriage bring peace to your mind, you don't feel disturbed. Note that this peace doesn't mean everything is perfect or fine with the two of you. All the situations around may not be 100% perfect, but you feel at peace regardless. The peace of God you feel does not also mean that the both of you will stop being flawed. It means that regardless of your flaws or the things the both of you still have to change and work on, you will still feel at peace with each other. Another sign is that you will feel joyful around each other. What the Lord has blessed is always accompanied by joy. You may still have your fights and disagreements, but all in all, you are simply happy around each other. This joyfulness transcends that of just getting to know someone or what results from meeting someone for the first time. This is a joy that only God gives. He puts it in for us to experience when we see that one. Being joyful around that one person does not mean that you get sad or start feeling bad when they have gone until you see them again. It means that there is a special feeling of joy that is invoked in you, especially when you are around them. This is the kind of joy that was expressed by Adam at the first sight of Eve. The same joy that Isaac expressed the first time he met Rebecca. Being comfortable around them. When you meet that one, you will be comfortable around them. They make you feel at peace. You are comfortable enough to express your thoughts and feelings around them. Comfortable enough to express your dislikes. You do not feel like you are choked around them. You can notice you're being comfortable with them from your time of friendship or even as you are in the relationship. Even if you are in a relationship and you discover that you are not comfortable around your significant other, you shouldn't go ahead with marrying them. The choky feeling will not go because you got married to them. Marriage would not change this feeling if you don't feel comfortable enough to express yourself around a person. It's best not to go ahead as a broken relationship is always preferred to a broken marriage. You find that you are yourself around them. When you can be your worst and your best around a person, it's many times a sign that it was meant to be. Many times, around this person, you begin to realize you have not paid attention to about yourself. You are free to unburden your heart to them and not feel bad. You are free to make your mistakes around them. You are just generally yourself, no pretense, just yourself 100% and they accept you that way. Another sign is a strong soul tie. This is a feeling like you've known each other for a long time. This is like a connection you have. You are on the same page. It could also be that feeling of strong emotional love. It will feel right like a click. There would be a click, more like the two of you will just flow. Sometimes the both of you can even finish each other's sentences. You have similar thoughts, you have similar mindsets or understandings about a thing. You don't have to be from similar backgrounds for this to happen. This clicking may not take place immediately after you meet or on your first encounter, but there will be a moment when you can tell this overwhelming knowing. You will just know someone is the one for you. This is the knower on your side. It would feel as though the both of you were made out of the same material 
and you being together is only natural. It will feel more like the experience of Adam when he first saw Eve in the garden. He had only stayed on earth for a few days and had never met a woman before. When he met Eve, he knew there was something different about her. Something in him just clicked. He knew she was different from all the other animals around him. He knew she was the bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. There was just clicking, a knowing, the knower on the inside could tell. Many times, we are just to trust our intuition. Again, you will feel confident enough to speak your truth and feel safe enough to ask for what you need. Someone you constantly have to lie to, to fit in is not the one. Someone you find it hard to be truthful to is definitely not the one. That one always makes things around them easy. That one person you can be sincere to at any time, even when you have messed up, is the one. Just like we should be free enough to go to God with our mess. If that person is the one you should be with, you will be free enough to get back to them when you have not gotten it all right and speak the truth to them. You will not be scared to speak the truth in their presence. In the same vein, you will not be scared to ask them about your needs. A person you cannot tell what you are lacking or where you are lacking cannot be the one for you. You should be able to open up your imperfections and expect to be helped. You should also be able to ask for your material needs, be it a lady or a guy. The lady should be free to speak up and ask for financial help when needed. The same for the guy. If you are not comfortable to ask for help from the other party, then most likely you are not meant to be together. Being free to ask for help doesn't mean you must do it regularly and constantly. That way, you soon become a burden to each other. Another important sign is that your inner view will match the actual reality of the relationship. Many times, God is more obvious to us than we often assume. One can know that a person is the right one with clear signs of manifestations of behavior that one has prayed for. Many times, we don't ask God for what we need because we feel we will be too demanding and therefore throw away our request. However, we should avoid unrealistic expectations, but at the same time, we should have things we desire. When we have met that person, your inner expectations and pictures of a relationship that you have drawn in your heart will be that you are experiencing as your reality. You will just realize that the person is exactly what you have told the Lord about. Many times, this doesn't have to do with outward appearance, but the deep things in your heart that you desire. 